On Friday, the government announced a new regulation concerning people traveling into Europe and coming back again to countries they consider safe. There is now no longer a requirement to come back and go into quarantine for 14 days, which is great. And instantly I just thought to myself, well, of course we used to do that. And then I was reminded of a bit of a bugbear concerning my car, which is the vehicle we use to go into Europe when we've done so. When I first saw my car advertised before I bought it, on the number plate was a little sign showing that it was registered in Great Britain, which told the authorities in any country that we visit that that's where my car was from. Unfortunately, by the time I went to see the car and to buy it, take it away, they'd taken that number plate off just so that they could advertise the name of their own company, which I found intensely frustrating because it meant I had to find some other way of showing where my vehicle was registered. I didn't want to put a sticker permanently on the back of the car. And unfortunately, I'm not able to put one of these magnetic GB uh, stickers on there because the car body is made of aluminium, so it doesn't attach. So I have to put something in the rear window and tape it on. It's a minor issue. It's not really important. But as I thought about that, I was reminded that that GB gave an indication of where the vehicle was from, where we are from. And I thought to myself, as we go through this world, as we travel and journey with God, but amongst other people, do they know where we are from? Do they know that we belong to God? Do people know by looking at us, by observing us, of who we belong to? And where we're from and I was reminded of that verse that says by their fruit you shall know them in Matthew's gospel Jesus was talking of course about uh, the fact that there are many false prophets but you would know God's people by the fruit in their lives as people look at us do they know that we belong to God because of the fruit in our lives what do we mean by that fruit? Well, there are a number of ways we can consider that. Firstly, it could be the things that we do for people, the fruit of good deeds, the blessings that come from our lives, the actions that we take, the choices that we make or don't make in life compared to others that might point to someone or an individual who is dedicated to God. Of course, it could also be the testimony we share. The fruit of a Christian's life should include the willingness, the desire to share with people who don't know Jesus the good news. But of course, the other side of the fruit is the fruit that Paul spoke of in Galatians 5, the fruit of the Spirit. When we become Christians, the Holy Spirit of God comes and enters into us. Our bodies become the temple of the Holy Spirit. And as a result, we begin to change. We show different characteristics. The fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, self-control. I'm sure I've missed another one out. The fruit of of the Spirit, those characteristics which when we hone them become Christ-like characteristics. Does our life, does the way we live our life demonstrate those characteristics? Perhaps if we want to be effective for God, one of the things we need to do is make sure that as in a number plate, the GB is clearly demonstrating where we're from, that we need to demonstrate where we're from by the fruit of God's Spirit within us being clearly visible. These are characteristics which we need to work on. It isn't easy. It isn't easy to show patience, to always show kindness, to find opportunities to demonstrate the goodness of God, the gentleness of Jesus 
in a world that calls us to be firmly independent, to be strong. There's that inclination to demonstrate those characteristics. But the fruit of the Spirit shows something else that I believe is attractive in God's kingdom. And through them we can impact and bless others. One of the prayers that Jesus gave to his people is the Lord's Prayer. And of course there's that familiar line in the Lord's Prayer, your kingdom come. Do you know when we pray that prayer and we pray, Lord, your kingdom come, it is the characteristic of God's kingdom that comes into this world and the prayer should be, and Lord, start with me. Change me, Lord, so that I demonstrate your kingdom through the fruit of the Spirit exuding through me. Teach me, give me opportunities to learn patience, gentleness, kindness, faithfulness, self-control, love, joy, peace. So important. May we be a people who, through God's help, as we look for opportunities to hone those skills, as we invite God to come more fully into our lives and transform us within by his Spirit, may we be people who show the fruit of God's Spirit so that people look at us and as clearly as on a car number plate, they know that we belong to the Lord.